Uh, talking about embedded finance, uh, really speaking, what's happened in the last, you know, maybe uh, ten years or so is the fact that consumers are adopting commerce uh, in in droves uh, at at the point where they are interacting with brands. The challenge that banks face is that they have to uh, they have millions of customers on their legacy platforms. They uh, and therefore the fintechs are basically coming in to take to replace them uh, to offer these great uh, consumer experiences. Mm -hmm. India is really at the forefront of many of these changes. Uh, the ecosystem allows innovation, uh, and many of these uh, fintechs are jointly working with banks to solve for the use cases. Take uh, you know P2P lending. Take. Uh, uh, tokenization, take uh, 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 subscription-based payments or you know recurring payments. The legislation is here. Uh, there are a number of fintechs which are working on great products to solve for uh, segments, distribution, uh, uh, and reaching out to customers, customer segments that banks were not serving. Do you see this uh, as a temporary phase? To, I mean, moving forward, regulations could essentially you know be a lot more. Uh, let's say less stricter so that uh, more and more fintechs could start getting let's say NDFC licenses or maybe even uh, banking licenses like payment bank licenses to essentially open up uh, those kind of uh, products on their own without partnering with banks. There are three broad trends, right? Mm -hmm. I think uh, uh, banks themselves will reinvent themselves. Okay, so they will focus on uh, moving their technology to contemporary technology systems like for example using Zeta's Omni stack for launching modern banking products for their customers and we are seeing a lot of traction uh, in that respect uh, and many banks not just in India but globally are taking our stack to launch modern banking experiences for their customers.